Okay, this is the June 2011 paper of FP1, and this is question 7. It's the matrices question. And we're given that the matrix A is defined by, well, this, four, this 2 by 2 matrix here. Um, and we're first asked to find A squared. So A squared is going to be found by multiplying A by itself. So write one next to each other like so. And now when you're multiplying matrices, remember that you're multiplying the row of the first one by the column of the second. So we've got minus 1 times minus 1 will be 1. And then we've got minus root 3 times root 3, which will be minus 3. Then we've got minus 1 times minus root 3, so that's going to be root 3. And minus root 3 times minus 1, so that's plus root 3. Root 3 times minus 1, so minus root 3. Minus 1 times root 3 is minus root 3. Mi root 3 times minus root 3 is minus 3. <clears throat> and minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. So, in the end, we have 1 take away 3 is minus 2. Root 3 plus root 3 is 2 root 3. Minus root 3 take away root 3 is minus 2 root 3. And minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So that's your a squared. We're then asked to show that a cubed is equal to ki, where i is the identity matrix. So we're going to need to multiply a by our a squared. So we're going to have minus 1, minus root 3, root 3, minus 1, multiplied by our a squared, so minus 2, 2 root 3, minus 2 root 3, minus 2. Right, what are we going to have here? We're going to have minus 1 times minus 2 is 2. Then we've got minus root 3 times minus 2 root 3, so that's going to be plus 2 times 3, so plus 6. We're going to have minus 1 times 2 root 3, so minus 2 root 3. And then we're going to get a plus 2 root 3. Then we've got a root 3 times minus 2, so minus 2 root 3. And then we're going to get a plus root 2 root 3. And then we've got finally root 3 times 2 root 3, so 2 times 3, so 6. And minus 1 times 2, so plus 2. So actually what we have is 8008, zero, zero, eight, which is 8i. Eight so that means that k must have been 8. So that's given us the value of k. So then we're asked to describe the two matrices, a cubed and a, where they may be a combination of two transformations. So a cubed is 8i, or 8008. Zero, zero, eight. So that is an enlargement. Okay, by scale factor 8. Okay, so that's the first one. Right, then we've got to do A. Um, describe this transformation. So the actually original transformation. Now the best way to do this, I find, um, is to draw the points as they would appear. So what we've seen here is that if we had our original points, we'd be looking at 1, 0, 0, 1. So you're looking at the identity matrix, and that gives you the coordinates 1, 0, and 0, 1. Okay, now let's do this with a red pen, I think. So 1, 0 has moved to minus 1, root 3. So minus 1, root 3 which would be up here. And 0, 1 has moved to minus root 3, minus 1. So minus root 3, minus 1, which is down here. So this point has moved here. This point has moved here. So you can see that this should be a rotation, because the two points are moving in the same direction. And 
It should also be an enlargement, because these points are clearly further away from the origin than when we started. So, if we just look at one of these coordinates, let's look at this one, so minus 1 root 3. So, why enlarge it a little? So, minus 1 root 3 is somewhere here. So, minus 1, so that's of length 1. This would be root 3, so that's root 3. So, if I draw a triangle there, then I can work out the length um, that it has been, that is now away from the origin. Because originally, it would have been at well, 1 away from the origin, because of uh, 1, 0, okay? But now, it's this length. So we can use Pythagoras, because that's a right angle triangle. So 3 plus 1 is 4, so square root 4 is 2. So it is now of length 2 away. So we know, therefore, that this is an enlargement by scale factor 2, okay, um, and it has been a rotation of this angle, okay, going around from 1, 0, now to this point. So we need to work out that angle. Now, I could just look at this angle and then take it away from 180. So, if I look at that angle in particular, then theta, or tan of theta, is root 3 over 1. So theta is the inverse tan of root 3. Okay? So if we inverse tan of root 3, um, let's do it in degrees. So let's change to degrees. Inverse tan of root 3, if you don't already know, is 60 degrees. So that must mean that we've gone through 120 degrees. So this is a rotation about the origin by 120 degrees, and we're going this way around, so anti-clockwise. Okay, so that is how you can do it. There are different ways of doing it, but I like to draw a little diagram, determine where the points have gone, move to, and do it geometrically.